Hello boys and girls, uh, welcome to Dark Souls 2 on the PS3. Um, I've played the previous two to like ultimate death, I, don't, I must have done easy 100 hours on both. So I think I'm well qualified for Dark Souls 2. I'm fully prepared to die an absolute crap load with just a pointy stick or something. So after the cutscene, uh, I'll talk to you again. Perhaps you've seen it, maybe in a dream, a murky, forgotten land. Place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded the symbol of the curse, an augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why.
things betwixt. I think that's how you say it anyway. So, we have landed in the world of Dark Souls 2. And the cutscene was very well done, very sparkly. The actual game graphics aren't as impressive. But I suppose I don't have to be spot. I've got no health at all. How the hell does that happen? No health. What the fuck is that? And can we whack it? Come here. Come here, I wanna punch you in the face. Come here, little doggy. Right, right, fine, soldier. Oh, I'm hoping not to die anytime soon, but this being Dark Souls, of course we will. Because, you know, these games just love you dying. It's like Hansel and Gretel's house. That's three grannies. Four grannies. What seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. Your face. The face of the curse. How's your noise, old woman? It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your face. For all the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? Was everything you're they say funny? Finished. You're finished. <laughs> you'll go hollow. You'll go hollow. <laughs> yes. You will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your face. Well, can we straight what up kill these name? lot? My name is Berticus Bon Berticus. Put your name in, okie dokie. And as if by magic, the name's filled in. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> At least you know your own name. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you in the face. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Is it really? Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back deep into your past. It's a Teletubby. Yes. It's an effigy of you. Right, so now we get to make us. So I'll fiddle around a bit and see you in a moment. Okay, I'm fairly happy with my dude. So let's zip on. People come here for the same reason, to break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You'll lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. Yeah, 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 I've played Dark Souls before. No old problem, old lad.
So. Right, we are off. Double sorted up, because why not? Let's check get some shit searched. Bonfires. Yeah, we know how bonfires work. Helicopter mode. Yes. Oh, we've got a torch. Nice. Okie dokie. First full door. Attack. Ah, oh, zombies. Yeah, get wrecked. Let's have a sword do. Obviously pick the best, baddest class there is going. Both swords do massive damage. Easy, Johnny. Told you I'm not dying in this one. Oh, some skills. I suppose he's got a shield by any chance, doesn't he? No shields. Okay, fair enough. We don't need shields, we've got two swords. Oh shit, I nearly fell off. That would have been bad. Alright, let's go for a nice backstab. No, oh, he's not having it. He's not having it. Yeah. There's your mate. You'll do. Yeah. Dead angled. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, this game is supposed to be like 30 hours of gameplay at least. So. Oh shit. Yeah, so I won't be. I won't be showing you all of it, it won't be like a complete walkthrough, it'll just be um, the first little bit up to the first kind of boss, um, the level up system where that's somewhere, and... You, you, give us more. Give it, uh, Snuggly, or whatever this version of Snuggly is called. Down we go. Wee Right. Let's go. Kinda that way. Hey, did I put my ring on? Look how I did. Dun 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 Ring. Of ultimate. Lifeness. A lot of people have been through here leaving messages. I suppose it's exactly the same in not the same as all the other games and leave messages and invade and other goodly stuff. Oh, there's a sparkle. Let's go get me some of that. Continue on the path. That's bonfire, we'll have that one. So I'm not walking that far every every now and then. Bonfire is lit. The rest of the little bones. Alright, travel, that's obviously a fast travel. We have no spells. Can't burn anything. And items are uh, items. What do we have up here? We have 
a lot of people have died so far. You're undead, aren't you? No, I'm full alive. You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. So I suppose she's like the guys in the first and second one, he's just sitting there doing not a lot. Oh, what's she doing? Hello, Mrs. Woman. Are you, or merely a pawn of fate, bearer of the curse? I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Okay. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Esther Slark. Go on and see the king. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendry. Well, the power of. Bearer of. The... For misery will lead you to. You will never meet the. Seek those. Okay. Their souls will serve as she just talks complete nuts for a while. Let's go look at some of these houses. See what they got. Get a bit of a jug on. Good, give us one. I've got 260 pounds, that does nothing. Awesome. What well, I, I, well, I should noise I'm looking. Can't break. Oh. That one. And a shard. I can't jump down from there. How's that? Can I see you down? Well, I'm not risking that. That's just a whole lot of death and destruction. Just how fuck that. Yeah, they're quite nasty. Run away from those. Sort of bonfire, reset the area, and they should bug it off by then. Okay, we're good to go. What have we got? Dark and dingy, I know we've got a torch somewhere. So if we put that in there. No, okay. Where's the torch gone? I'm sure it's not I picked up a torch. Well, you can't use it, uh, not to worry. Oh, no. 
Look, lots of shadows keep popping up. But as yet, nobody's invaded, so we're all good. Crest of Forest of Fallen Giants. He doesn't look very jointy. It's also not very hard. So, do a bit of ransacking around here. It's going to kill me, so we'll leave that alone. <clears throat> Carrying the land of giants. Oh, he's... he's... John. Carving through these. Ah. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it a minute. Yeah, sort this the fuck out. Shit, I'm whacking you. Roll away, roll away like a hero, roll away like a hero, yeah. Take health. And... Oh, pick up item. What did you drop? Shield. Yes. Could do with one of those. So, one of those, one of those. Right, now we've got a shield. And we shouldn't really whack quite so much. Easy, easy, one at a time. Right, take all of them. getting arrowed so it's gonna be oh shit wish someone can hide for a second right, pick some of this up you stay there big man to him anyway. You say anything? Not really. Should we give him a smack to voice up? Yeah, that'll work him up. Oh, you're big but you're slow. Oh shit, but you're quite hard. Oh, I was doing it, man. Oh, you absolute shit. Well, that's death number one. Uh, I showed you a few bits. So, if you want to see some more, join me next time. So until then, I'll see you later.